Hey everybody, welcome to the lab. Today we're going to be getting this ball mill going. What is a ball mill? Well, essentially it's, in this case, a bucket. And inside the bucket is whatever you want to crush. Uh, kitty litter. Don't ask me why, that's the next video. And some steel balls. So that's what's in there. And when you spin this, the steel balls tumble around and crush the kitty litter into fine powder which is very important for the next video. So to get this sucker going, what I've got here is a little induction motor. The problem is this is not big enough. Now this gets it going sort of probably about this fast, all right? It's very quiet. It just ticks along like, this is actually from a microwave fan. It had a fan about this big on it. It's not meant for, you know, lifting rocks. It's a fair bit of work to turn that and uh, it's overheating the coil and I'm really worried that it'll short out and start a fire. So, to fix that, I've got myself a 150 watt halogen work light. No, I'm just kidding. This is just a box with um, a motor in it. Now, this little guy comes out of a vacuum cleaner, a Bunnings Home Light vacuum 10 liter thing. I got it on special for $30. It does work for the rock crusher. It already fits into the frame. The problem is that it's just too fast, too powerful, and too noisy. So, we're going to take this and slow it down with one of these. Now, this comes from JCAR, and it is a mains motor speed controller, the improved version. So, here we go. Here's what we get in the box. Pretty standard. A nice die-cast metal box and a whole heap of electronic stuff so what I'm probably going to do is just do a little time lapse of me putting this together and then I'll show you what it's like at the end I begin the build by adding all of the resistors A small MOSFET and voltage regulator are followed by the high voltage capacitors. Man, guys, I just made bruschetta. Bruschetta, maybe called. Oh, let's have a listen. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. A low power voltage rectifier. Screw terminals for the front panel inputs. A 0 0.1 ohm resistor is used to measure motor current. A filter block, an NTC thermistor. This huge rectifier will provide power to the motor through the IGBT switch. Here I'm installing the IGBT and another specialized diode. instructions to wire up the mains power supply. Pots to length and 
install the knobs. Oh yeah, I think we're pretty much done. It's looking pretty much finished at this point. Let's see if it explodes into a cloud of smoke first. We can't leave it open to run it because everything on the inside is at uh, mains voltage. So we won't, won't be doing that. We shall screw it securely shut and then give it a try. That closes up real nice. Tight. So. I rather enjoyed that project. So, so, so. <sighs> Let's give it a try. So this is gonna be the test run. I've never plugged this in before. I have here a live kettle cord. Ah, uh, here we go. I had a little spark, but... <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! All right, let's put the rocks in it. Let's do it. Uh, shot there. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye! <laughs> Seems to be holding up alright. <laughs>